That's my grandma. Filming from her land today. Um, I am out here about to do a craft. So, let me set up the camera. I did decide to go in the shade. I just ordered all four of us some Chipotle. So it should be here in like a few, like maybe an hour. Um, but yeah, it's, 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 y'all, I love my grandma's like situation she got set up. There she goes right there. It looks like it's really far, but it's not. Oh, she looking at me. She saw. <laughs> y'all, my grandma's so cute. I've never loved somebody as deeply as I love my grandma. Okay, so I am noticing that seems like as soon as I started setting up, the highway is like really loud, as well as the neighbors back here. So I'm gonna have to try to find another area to film the craft at, um, because it's super loud. Let me set up the tripod really quick, hold on. Okay, first and foremost, I wanted to show y'all these little berries. I'm not even exactly sure what they are. Oh, there's an ant. It's a lot of like little ant um, setups out here and I've not put my boots on yet. But what I did want to do, see there we go. There's a setup. There's some pretty flowers. Okay. So I know what poison ivy looked like, okay? And this is not it. I'm going to take some of these off um, to use with the dried flowers that I have. Are those honeysuckles? Hmm. Those look like honeysuckles to me, y'all. We used to um, eat off of the honeysuckle bushes and stuff when we were younger. I can't zoom in that far. Let's see. Are there any close, closer than that? Hmm, I don't see. Oh, is that a honeysuckle? Is this a honeysuckle bush? Uh, it looks like it to me. I think it is. I feel like it is. Oh my God. Okay, hold on. Let me set up my tripod, y'all. Let me show y'all how we used to eat these when we were kids. Okay. Let me show you. I've already shown my kids this because their dad is, he's kind of like a city boy. Do you remember these, Naomi? Yeah. What are they called? Um, they're called llama doodles. Llama doodles? Okay, let's not make stuff up. Do you remember me showing you how to like eat one of these? Yeah. Hold that. Show the camera. Okay. So the way we used to do these was we would take a piece off the bottom here like that. Take the stem. <gasps> no stem. Can I eat it? Hold on, let me show you. Oh, it's no stem, or at least I keep cutting it. Okay, let's show them this one. Do you remember, Naomi? Oh, yeah. This way. There we go. There's a stem. Can I eat it? Like um, that? Uh, and then you put it on your tongue. And you taste honey. <laughs> okay, hold on. Well, I don't know if it's honey, but it's like a, a, um, a dew. Like a, a dew, I guess. Oh, wait, is this poison ivy? That looks like poison ivy. I didn't touch that. No, I know you didn't. Yep. Let's see. Let me see the... I think that is poison ivy right here on the bottom. So, yeah, that's poison ivy. Let me this try to... It's ant hill! Yeah, it is one, but you're not on it, babe. Remember Mommy said? Watch out. Some of these aren't done, and the ones that are done, kind of, are in the back, so I'm not gonna touch those. Because we got visited by some poison ivy. Nine times out of 10, it looks like leaves of three, let it be. Leaves of five, let it thrive. So yeah, that's poison ivy, down at the bottom. And we don't wanna step over there. But yeah, the, the, um, 
The trees that I want to pick, you want to go with mommy? Yeah. The ones that I want to pick, watch out for that ant hill, are nine times out of ten these, okay? What is this? That is a petal, a flower petal. This is what we're going to pick out. Here you go, Nomi Fat. And I'm just making sure that... Where is it at? Oh, yeah, you're right. That right there on the ground is poison ivy. See, y'all are actually listening in y'all's little um, Girl Scout class. So don't take any of the leaves off, okay? What I'm picking right now is not poison ivy. This is what it looks like. Here you go. And I'm going to pick, like, a lot of these because we're going to make a witch's broom, a southern-style witch's broom. Let me stop, y'all. I always get so hyped when I'm at my grandma's because if you ever met a southern lady, okay, it would definitely be my grandma. <laughs> she from, she's from around Pageland, South Carolina, Cheryl. My grandfather's from Charleston, South Carolina. Okay, let me see those. I just need to bunch them up to... Okay. This looks like a good witch's broom. It really does. Now, I can't tell my grandma I'm making a witch's broom because she'll be, like, freaked out. She's super Christian, but... Y'all, look at that. Okay, this looks really good. Mommy. I did, huh? There's a stick to go with it. A stick to go with it? You're actually right about that. It's looking like a broom already. Oh my gosh. And I love the texture on this stick. Oh my gosh. Naomi, do you want to show off the stick that you got? Yeah. You picked that stick out. Here you go. This is the stick. <laughs> yes, it is. Mommy baby. That's the stick you found. So do you want to gather these over to the chair over there? Here you go. Here's the stick. And I'm going to pick a little bit more. So y'all... Guess what I see? Let's see if I can get this on film really quick. Where'd she go? Do you see her? A little baby ladybug? There she goes, y'all. She's gone. Hey, y'all. Okay, I'm back. So, the camera's really wonky out here, okay? Just want to let y'all know that. Um, and it's really hot, but I do have my pullover on. I am in a skirt, so that's cool, and I did not put on my boots. Okay, so I've always wanted to make one of these. Okay, these are the supplies that I have. I did just pick some greenery with my daughter. Did y'all see that puppy? Okay, I did just pick some greenery, okay? She picked out a random stick. I mean, I guess she was watching me or, you know, thinking, oh, a broom. Of course it has the stick to go with it, okay? And then for decorative pieces, I did dry some flowers upside down. I did want these to be a little bit more live because they're easier to work with. Um, but that's okay because... I mean, I'll be very, like, gentle with them. I was gentle in the transporting of these, so we'll see how it goes. Um, also, I did bring my uh, small glue gun. This is the Gorilla Glue Gun. I, I got this one from Joanne's Fabric, and I did bring a lot of yarn. I had twine, is what they call it, twine, but um, I feel like that's harder to work with for some reason, and I'm not, like you know, at my house with all of my materials and things. I'm outside, so I wanted something that would be super quick and easy to, I guess, move about. So I'm gonna change the direction of the camera and y'all will be able to like, see a little bit better of the um, craft today that we're doing. So yay! Okay, so there's the setup here. I have some supplies. And we're going to set up really quickly. So, first I wanted to make sure 
that I figured out which color yarn I want to use. I'm instantly attracted to this color. Just want to make sure we're in focus here. I love, love, love that color. But I also love this color as well. This one is really intense. I like this one. Um, I feel like it would go with the flowers better. So I'm just going to go ahead and use this one. And sorry if the camera and the sound and everything is not up to par today. It's honestly because I am, you know, out here like this. And I'm not really used to being out here like this. But we're going to try it out and see how it goes, okay? So, this is the color I'm going to use. Even though that blue one is very majestic and pretty, I'm going to use this one. So, first, I am going to place everything together. Here are the flowers. I'm just going to quickly measure to see how that looks. Pretty good. And I'm going to start to untie the flowers because I did tie them in rubber bands so that they would be able to um, dry upside down. Uh, sorry y'all, I have a quick call. Hold on one second. <laughs> okay. We are back, y'all. So sorry about that. So, now, I, like I said before, I just want to take these rubber bands off. Hopefully, y'all can hear me. Is the camera going? Yeah. Okay. And my next thing is, like, I, I would love to be able to rearrange this so that it could look a little bit more presentable. I kind of want to take one at a time, to be honest with you, because these are dried. They're a little bit more, like, intricate to be dealing with. So. I am changing the order in the flowers that I'm using, like, making sure that I use different ones as I go. Yes, Booker Bean. You are. What did you do? What I did was at first I was going to put them through that one. That was the but see that right like there? Mm -hmm. The umbrella? Yeah, I pulled the thing and I'm only six years old. And, and you're a big girl. Yes. Oh no, it looks like she needs some help. So I didn't bring scissors. I should have brought my trusty pocket knife, which is at home. It does not help out here though. I'm gonna clip these up later. But I think now what I wanna do is make sure that I'm able to, okay, I'm gonna bring this down to the ground if that's cool with everybody. Let's see. Yeah, I'm going to bring it lower. And as soon as I get these tied, I feel like I'll be able to do a little bit more with, um, with them. Cause then I'll be able to go around it and sort of add more stuff as I go. So what I'm gonna do is, oh no! Okay, let's take the good old wrap around method.
Okay. So, like I said, I'm just gonna take the wraparound method to get some of these on here tight first before I continue. Because I still want to put more on there, believe me. I just want to make sure that these are kind of on here first before I continue. See, because one side is not even covered, but the other is. as I can. There we go. To make sure that it's sticking on. I'm watching my grandmother and my daughter hang out. I want to introduce y'all to my grandma because I think she's so cool and I feel like y'all would like really understand the origins of my I guess cottage corners slash farm obsession why y'all so loud right now okay so it's going I mean it's I am twisting and the yarn is following me. So I'm gonna try to like speed this process up. This is my first attempt by the way. Um, I've never done this before. I am however going to be like trying to check my phone here and there because I did make the order. Yeah. Okay, hold on y'all. Okay y'all, the food is here. I did set up for my kids and my grandmother and I will be there in a little bit. Um, but so far this is how it looks. I kinda wanna add some more stuff. What I'm gonna do is hold on to the yarn. I'm not gonna cut it at all. And I'm gonna wait. And I'm gonna show y'all like a close up because I wanna enjoy um, lunch with my grandmother and my children. Those two, well, not two groups of people, but my grandmother as well as my two kids. They mean the world to me. So. This is what it looks like, y'all. That actually looks pretty good, and I'm really proud of it. Um, hopefully, y'all can hear me good on this camera, but I'm going to stop really quick and have lunch with everyone, and I will be back. Whoa, why is it zooming in over there? That's weird. Also, I feel like you can hear the birds and the neighbors more than you can hear me for some reason. I guess I'll go back on here and try to edit the background sounds out. But yeah, so I'll be right back. Stay tuned.
quick update. Okay, it's hot as heck out here. My energy is like shot a little bit. But what I ended up doing was, I'm sure, oh, okay, I was like, I'm sure I could let this back. I ended up cutting some of these extra flyaways of, away. And uh, I think what I'm gonna do next is add some decorative pieces to it and tie it together to let it dry. Um, not sure if y'all can see, see it completely, but this is how it looks. I'm happy with it. I think it looks really cool. And I'm gonna set it up. I was thinking about even gifting this to someone, but I wanna add more details to it. Um, today was a really wonky day, of course, but um, I'm excited about it. I'm excited for it to dry. I think what I can do is uh, try to practice on some smaller ones to see how we go. But yeah, I appreciate everybody for watching. Thank you, thank you. Um, again, I'm here with a lot of family members. My grandmother's in the garden. So it's like very customary for us to, uh, I don't know, just be around family, especially with my grandma. But anyways, I'm going to go. Thanks so much for watching and y'all have a great weekend. Bye.